Good morning, Mom. Good morning, dear. So are you excited for your first day in your new school? Yes, I'm excited to meet new people. So Dad, do you think this semester is going to be different from the previous semesters? Honestly, I don't know, but what I surely know is that this semester can be whatever you choose it to be. So don't worry, it will turn out all right. You think so? Yes. Thanks, Dad. Hello, students. This is your new classmate, Nora. Hi, my name is Lucy. Nice to meet you, Lucy. We are going to be best friends. Class, today we are going to learn linear equations. Hi, my name is Jake. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. Did you just move here or you just changed schools? I moved here last week. Okay, see you around. I think Jake likes you. No, he just wants to be friends. Doesn't look like that. Whatever. I am Paul. Hi, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you, Nora. Nice to meet you, too. So see you in class. I think he also likes you. So now everybody likes me. Just saying. Hurry or we will be late for class. I know that face. It is Nora. You like her. I can't get her voice out of my head. That's true love. That's just silly. There is nothing like true love. Says the boy who fell in love. Stop joking and let's get to class. Hello students I'm sorry to tell you that school is going to be closed until further notice. I know many of you may wonder why school is being closed. School is being closed due to this new coronavirus pandemic. If you feel you need more information then go online and search coronavirus or tune in to channel 1 news the president will be giving his address. Good evening my fellow citizens I'm here to tell you that the coronavirus is rapidly spreading over the country, so I closed all the borders, school and other social events in order to ensure the safety of the nation. I advise you to stay home, stay safe, avoid crowded places and practice social distancing. Thank you. I hope this virus should not affect us. I'm going to bed mom, good night. Good night my dear. Don't forget to meet me here every day. I won't forget. So what do you do at home at all, which makes you stay home all day? I'm just helping my mom clean up the house. Hi girls. Hello Jake. Am I interrupting your conversation? No. Not at all. I will leave you guys to talk. How are you? I'm fine and you? I'm also fine. I was wondering that you could go to a theater with me, if only you have no plans. But the president said to avoid crowded places. This is v.i.p only, so there will be less people. Okay, I will go with you. Saturday night 6 o'clock sharp. So do you love the view? Yes, but I'm hungry. Let's go to a restaurant nearby. I love this place. Me too. So tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? I want to know the real you. I am 15, I love chocolate and my favorite song is 7 years. I am also 15, I love vanilla and my favorite song is also 7 years. So you also like 7 years? Yes. It is getting late let's go home. Okay. So this is where we part. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Okay. Why did you do that? Don't you know that coronavirus is spreading? Yes, I know. Don't take me the wrong way, but you did this at the wrong time. So what happened yesterday? We went to a theater, then he took me to a restaurant. When we were going home he kissed me and I overreacted. So go to him and tell him that just you overreacted, he will understand. You think so? Yes, go to him. Okay. Where do you think you are going to? I just wanted to ask Jake whether he wants to go to the library with me, I need to tell him something. He has plans. Okay, let him know I asked of him. So what did Nora say? She just wanted you to know that she has plans for the week so she can hang out. Ooh.
Dad, what do you do if the girl you like ignores you? Never give up and try till you get her. Like my dad always says, if you want something so bad you need to go for it. Thanks, Dad. I don't care if she ignores me, I will still speak with her. Yeah, bro. Go for it. Hello, Nora. Hi, Jake. So how was your date? What date? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Three days ago, when is this coming to you? Jessica confronted me and said you had plans with her. Then she lied to you, because nothing like that happened. Why would she do that? The important thing is that there is no misunderstanding between us. Jake, I'm sorry for the way I reacted the other day. I overreacted over nothing. Please forgive me. Don't worry, I forgive you. Nor I like you even though you don't like me. No. I like you. The only reason I overreacted is because I love you and I don't want you to get coronavirus. Even if I get it, we will still die together. I would never want to kill you. I know that so on Monday we will go to a doctor's office and check if we have coronavirus. Thanks. The test went well. I'm proud to say you are both negative. I told you everything will be alright. Yes you did.